How to fix battle net launcher not opening. Method 1. Run battle net launcher as administrator. Hold down control plus shift plus escape keys to open task manager. In the processes tab, right click each battle net and battle net update agent process and click end task. Make sure that no Battle.net processes are running. Right-click the Battle.net desktop shortcut, and click Properties. Navigate to the Compatibility tab. Mark the Run This Program as an Administrator checkbox. Click Apply, and click OK. Launch Battle.net Method 2. Reset TCP IP settings and flush DNS cache. Hold down Windows plus R keys to open Run. In the Run dialog box, Type in CMD and hold down CTRL plus SHIFT plus ENTER keys to open the elevated command prompt. In the command prompt window, type in NETSH, INT, IP RESET C colon backslash RESET LOG dot TXT, and press the ENTER key. Then type in NETSH, WINSOC RESET, and press ENTER. Finally, type in IP CONFIG slash FLUSH DNS, and press enter. Restart your PC. Method 3. Disable proxy server. Hold down Windows plus R keys to open run. In the run dialog box, Type in I, netcpl.cpl, and click OK. In the Internet Properties window, select the Connections tab. Click LAN Settings. Unmark the checkbox next to use a proxy server for your LAN option. Mark the Automatically Detect Settings option. Click OK. Method 4. Delete the Battle.net tools and cache folders. Hold down Control plus Shift plus Escape keys to open Task Manager. In the Processes tab, right-click each Battle.net and Battle.net Update Agent process and click End Task. Make sure that no Battle.net processes are running. Hold down Windows plus R keys to open Run. In the Run dialog box, type in percent program data percent and click OK. Find the Battle.net folder, right click it and click Delete. Try running Battle.net. Note. Deleting the Battle.net folder may cause the application to forget game install locations. If the Battle.net launcher still won't start, right-click the Blizzard Entertainment folder and click Delete. Run Battle.net Method 5. Enable the secondary logon service. Hold down Windows plus R keys to open Run. In the Run dialog box, type in services.msc and click OK.
In the services window, locate the secondary logon service. Right click secondary logon and click properties. Open the startup type drop down menu and select automatic. Click apply. If the service is not running, click Start, and click OK. Restart your PC. Hopefully, this video provided you with the information you were looking for. If you're using a Windows computer, we suggest scanning it with Combo Cleaner. Combo Cleaner's real-time anti-malware scanner will stop malware from gaining a foothold on your PC. Anti-ransomware protection will protect your most precious files against being encrypted by ransomware. Combo Cleaner's web browsing protection will block scams, malicious websites, and downloads. Also, Combo Cleaner's duplicate file finder and big files finder will help you clean up your PC and save gigabytes of valuable disk space. Don't let malware wreak havoc on your computer. Download Combo Cleaner today. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel.